Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the download errors that Big Sur is having. People are still reaching out to me and saying, hey, I am still having problems even after your previous update video. And that was basically showing a workaround here to download the install assistant directly from Apple, install that, and what it does is it takes the installer.app and puts it directly into your applications folder. It's kind of a workaround for that issue. And that helped a lot of people. But some people are saying after install, Installing that package, they're getting the installer packages damaged and it would not continue, and they're still having problems downloading macOS. So I'm going to show you multiple ways of downloading macOS outside the installer app and outside this workaround. So hopefully you can finally give macOS Big Sur a shot. Let's jump in and get started. So if that previous workaround with the install assistant package downloading it manually from Apple server still didn't work for you. I've got this site showing here that it'll walk through walk you through multiple ways of getting Mac OS, including Big Sur. So let's scroll down and we can kind of go over some of these different ways here. Obviously the Mac App Store first. Try that first, but the problem is is that brings you, it's not like it downloads it directly from the App Store. It brings you to the software update pane and that's where you're having the original problem. So before we begin though, I wanted to tell you about one other fix that I saw that was that a couple of my readers reached out and said, hey, listen, try this out, it worked for me. If you're still having the original issue, which you get the installation error, some users have reported that their DNS on their router is causing the problems. Like let's say they set it up to a Google DNS or something like that. When they reset their DNS back to default, their ISP's DNS, the installation problem went away. Now keep in mind, this is a small thing and if you don't even know what that means, don't worry about it because I'm gonna show you some additional ways that we can still get the installer. But if you do know that you went into your router or in, and you set it in your settings to change your DNS, it might be worth changing it in back, giving it a try again and seeing if that works. If not, let's keep moving on here. So the Mac App Store is out of the, out of the way. As you can see, it opens up the software update pane and that's where you're having the original problem. The, the next thing that I could show you how to do is use Two Canoes Mac Deploy Stick, which is a really nice GUI um, application that does a bunch of deployment things for Macintosh administrators. So let's jump right into that download and I'll show you what that looks like. It's a free download and there's a nice section in here that allows you to download Mac OS directly from Apple server. So we're gonna, that downloads right to your downloads folder here. When it's almost done downloading it, it will walk through the entire installation here. Okay, it's done. Let's open it up. mds.dmg is the file name. It's in your downloads folder when it's done. And this is the installer. So we'll double click on the installer package. We'll walk through the continue, install, and we'll type in our password here. And it'll go through the installation. And it's done. We'll click close. And it's in the applications folder under MDS. We'll open that up. You can check for automatic updates. We're not gonna check right now. And we're not gonna create a certificate right now, so we'll click no. And the one we want is that under tools, we have download Mac OS. So let's click that. We'll give it a second. And if you do get an error, you can click OK and then change to the customer seed or production. Either one will work for now. Give it a second here. And here's the listing. And here's macOS Big Sur. Now keep in mind, the customer seed also shows the beta. So you don't want to really download the beta. You want the production version. So it's 20B29 is the latest version, even though they've come out with a 20B50. And that one is the latest one, but it only removes the 2000... Uh, 13 and 2014 13's MacBook Pro because Big Sur was causing a big issue with that particular model. So if you let's just say we want to pull that we can pull down the latest one and that's totally fine. So we'll click download and that's it. We just wait for it to download. It'll it'll ask us where we want to put the download and we can just keep it in downloads or whatever and that's totally fine and just click open and it'll start to download. It'll ask you for your password to install a helper tool. We'll type in the password here. Give it a second here. Okay, it's downloading. Now, how do you know, right? It doesn't really give you kind of a interface to tell you that it's downloading. So the my favorite tool to see what's happening with the download speed is Activity Monitor. So let's open up Activity Monitor. That's in Applications and Ut Utilities folder. And you can always do Command Space to do Activity Monitor to search with Spotlight. 
we'll open it up and then we click on network and then we can immediately see our download speed you can see that it is downloading right now it's going to get anywhere between uh two one and probably five megabytes a second depending on your download speed but you can tell it's definitely downloading it's a little bit slow right now but it is downloading when it's done the application will be in whatever folder that you selected and that's it that's step one that's how to download mac os outside the app store outside of a software update the next thing we're going to do and we're actually we're going to cancel this because i don't want to we're going to quit MBS here and we're so okay. the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to use a python script so this is a little bit more advanced i wanted to show you the gui way first because that's kind of the easiest way but if you want to get a little bit more advanced here we can use a python script that was created by greg nagel that allows us to download mac os also okay so we'll close activity monitor We'll close the applications, we'll get rid of this MDS, we'll close this here, and we'll get back to our main article here to get to install, install Mac OS is what it's called. I've got a, uh, a link directly on my download site that's gonna bring you right to the script to do it. And again, this is advanced, but that's what you guys wanna see. We wanna get a little bit more advanced here to kind of learn new things. And this is kind of fun. This is a new way of downloading Mac OS with this script. So let's go directly to the GitHub site and we're gonna pull that script right from the site. And if you've not used GitHub before, it's a place where people can put applications and scripts for public use. You can also, if you find an issue with it, you can submit an issue and the developer can fix it for you. So it's really cool. So this is the raw script right here. And to get this, we have to copy this entire script and we're gonna run the script. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on raw and then it'll just load the raw script into a page. And then we can just do a command A to select all. And then we can do a command C to copy. When we're dealing with scripts, we, we're going to need a text editor to manipulate it without having any other issues. Usually text edit in macOS is not the greatest to do that. So my recommendation is to download bare bone software BB edit. And I'll put a link in the description for this too. And it's a free download. And it's absolutely fantastic a free scripting and editor that you can use. Uh, to be able to manipulate these scripts. So we're going to do a free download here and then that'll download right to your downloads folder and reinstall that. I've already got it installed, so we'll open it right up here. Now that we're in here, we'll do a, uh, it'll open up, we'll do a new text document here and then we'll paste the, uh, what we just copied from the clipboard. There it is. There's the entire script. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go save that as and then we're going to call it install install mac os py and notice how i didn't even have to put py in there because bb edit understands that it's a python script and we're going to put it in users shared so we're going to go macintosh hard drive users shared that's where we need to store the script because that's where it's going to be doing all the work so we'll click that and we'll hit save now it's saved there let's open up our we'll click on finder We'll go into users and shared. It's already open for us. And there's our script. So now all we need to do is open up terminal. So command space to do a search for terminal. We'll open up terminal. And we've got a terminal in here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here so you can see. Let's do this. So you can see this here. And then all we're going to do is, is drag the script to here. Before we want to do that, we need to run this script as an administrator. So we want to type in sudo first, sudo space and then we're going to drag this python script right into the window and that's it we're going to hit enter or oh, it's going to ask us for a password we'll give it a second and look at that it's automatically reaching out to apple servers to get the latest mac os builds here and look they're all apple servers you can see the direct software catalog that they're using to get the information and here's all of the available mac os full installers available on apple servers i mean isn't that neat so what do we need here we need big sur and there she is right there number 10. and it tells you the catalog or the product id the version number the build number and the post date of when apple put that up there for available for, for download and it's saying which one do you want to download all we're going to do is type in 10 and it's going to immediately start to download that's it it's going to download all the pieces inside the installer and then put them together and then put them into the your user folder when it's done and that's all you got to do 
And when I say user folder, you got to click on Finder, go into your user folder, and it's going to be right in here as a DMG. Mount the DMG, and the installer app will be in there. And you can just start it up from there. Hopefully, one of those ways will help you guys get Big Sur. If not, post in the comments, and I will help you. If you've gotten this far after two videos, a main video and an update video, and then this second update video to get Big Sur, and you're still not getting, I will help you in the comments. Post in there, we will get this done for you. I hope this video created value for you. If it did, I would really appreciate if you would consider liking and subscribing to this channel because I'm gonna keep posting videos like this to help you out no matter what it is. If it's for your Apple Silicon Mac, your Intel Mac, Mac OS Big Sur, Catalina, whatever. We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks.